Britain's Queen Elizabeth is revealing secrets about the day she was crowned nearly 65 years ago. The Queen was interviewed for a documentary that will air on the Smithsonian Channel this Sunday. In the program, she also watches film footage of her coronation in June 1953. Charlie Daggett is outside Westminster Abbey in London where that historic moment happened. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. Well, Westminster Abbey really hasn't changed much since Queen Elizabeth was crowned here, but she has changed and so has the monarchy. And this documentary shows the Queen and what she felt about that day in a way we really haven't seen before. Imagine, if you can, our young Queen's feelings. We no longer have to imagine. For the first time, the Queen is sharing those feelings herself. It's the sort of, I suppose, the sort of beginning of one's life, really, as, 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 a, as a sovereign. And while a journey in a gold coach may have looked like something out of a fairy tale, apparently it was a bumpy ride. Horrible. It's only sprung on leather. Not very comfortable. And it's just one of the candid secrets unveiled in the coronation, where Her Majesty regales viewers with fond memories of the day she was crowned nearly 65 years ago. I mean, I've seen one coronation and been the recipient in the other. It's a side of the Queen we rarely see, says royal correspondent Roya Nika. I think we often forget the Queen is a human like the rest of us because we so rarely hear from her in a personal way. This was just a very young woman, like a lot of other young women, but just taking on a role that was like nothing else anyone had ever experienced. Such fun for the children. That's Charles Not what they're meant to do. And it comes as the royals ride a wave of popularity. What with the success of The Crown on Netflix.